Well, folks, Pride Month is coming up, and you know what that means. It means that you are going to get rainbow vomit on everything across corporate America. If everywhere you shop is doing Pride Month, then how exactly are you going to not shop somewhere during Pride Month? You're just going to have to ingest the rainbow cereal along with the rest of it. And so, so unity in corporate wokeness is principle number one. And principle number two is you won't get that offended. Because the reality is, in Harvard Business School studies about this, the left is significantly more annoying than the right is, typically speaking, when it comes to their consumption of products. Or this has been true at least heretofore. There's a study from Harvard Business School that I've talked about on the show before. This study found that if you take a neutral corporation, a corporation that has no politics, and you have a right-wing corporation, a left-wing corporation, that the left-wing corporation is viewed somewhat positively by the left. The neutral corporation is also viewed somewhat positively by the left because they assume that it's just a left-wing corporation. A right-wing corporation loses 20 to 30 points in approval rating just for not being a left-wing corporation. For the right, however, the right doesn't have significant feelings about this one way or another. The right typically will just shop wherever it wants to shop. So corporate America has relied on this. Corporate America has relied on your apathy and my apathy. And the fact that we're like, listen, man, I still got to go to Target. That's what they have relied on. But here's the thing. Alternatives are now available. The entire goal of things like Pride Month, the entire goal of a wave of corporate propaganda on behalf of the Pride Progress flag, on behalf of propagandistic nonsense about the moral equivalence of all sexual activity and orientation, the, the, the beauty of all forms of sexual congress, the idea that boys can be girls, girls can be boys. Right? This entire moral program that is being pushed by the woke relies on one, their unity, and two, your apathy. But you don't actually have to do that. You don't actually have to do that. So what we are about to see during private, and we're already seeing it, is again, corporate woke unity in the, in the assumption that you will remain apathetic no matter how woke and crazy they get. So for example, Target, right? Major corporation relies on your shopping. They have decided that it's time to sell products that transes the kids. This is a TikTok video that's been going viral showing that there are bathing suits in the kids section with tuck options. So your little boy, you're trying to trans, you can get him a girl's bathing suit that allows him to take his penis and testicles and tuck them up under himself. Isn't that nice? Really great, great job here, Target. I'm sorry I chose you again. I just needed to do the bathing suit the last bit. I found the tuck bathing suits, the tuck friendly bathing suits. So if you need a women's bathing suit and you have a little extra meat down there that you got to hide, you have one option. That is the only bathing suit that I found in the entire store. And it's in the pride section. It's not in the kids section, women's section, boys section, baby section. It is in the pride section. It was the only one I could find. And I did have another adult with me checking all the tags so that I didn't have to stay in the store for nine hours. It's the only one. Well, isn't that sad? It's the only one they could find. But Target is, in fact, stacked up with pride progress gear that is geared toward children. They have, they have baby gear that is geared toward gay pride and trans pride. Like for, for small babies, for like kids who can't talk yet. And Target believes that you won't do anything about it. That's why they're doing it. They believe that they will gain the upside of the left being super enthusiastic about them. And there is no downside because the right will just go silent. The right won't pay any attention to it. Memorial Day is coming up. It's a time to honor and remember our brave servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for freedom. It's also a time when we typically come together as a nation, gather with loved ones and enjoy some barbecue. What better way to do that than with premium 100% American meat from Good Ranchers? Good Ranchers is not. Like the other meat delivery companies that import a majority of their product, they're passionate about delivering the finest 100% American meat directly to your doorstep. Here's something special. Good Ranchers proudly offers a 10% discount to all past and present service members as a way of saying thank you for their service. But that's not it. In honor of Memorial Day, Good Ranchers is giving my listeners an exclusive opportunity. When you use code BEN, you can save up to 25% site-wide. From tender steaks to succulent chicken, GoodRanchers.com has it all. I know that it's really good because they got me a kosher steak. And let me just tell you, it was an amazing steak. I mean, like really, really good. So fire up that grill on Memorial Day with family and friends. Knowing the meat you're enjoying is not only of the best quality, but also supports American ranchers. Visit GoodRanchers.com today. Use my code BEN. Save up to 25% site-wide. The more you stock up on, the more you'll save during their Memorial Day sale. That's promo code BEN at GoodRanchers.com. Good Ranchers is indeed American meat delivered. Are you a finance professional looking for a better way to maximize productivity and cut wasteful spending? Look no further than Ramp. Ramp is a corporate card and expense management software designed to help you save time and money. With Ramp, you can issue cards to every employee with limits and restrictions and automate expense reporting so you can stop wasting time at the end of every month. 
Ramp's accounting software automatically collects receipts and categorizes your expenses in real time so you don't have to. It saves you tons of time and tons of money. The time you save each month on employee expenses will allow you to close your books eight times faster. So it saves you a lot of time. Businesses that use Ramp save an average of 3.5% within year one. Ramp is super easy to use. You can get started in less than 15 minutes, whether you have five employees or 5,000 employees. Right now, you get 250 bucks when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash Shapiro. That's R-A-M-P dot com slash Shapiro. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank. Members, FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Go check them out. Ramp.com slash Shapiro. That's R-A-M-P dot com slash Shapiro. And you get 250 bucks when you join Ramp. It is not just Target. It's also apparently Starbucks. And it's Starbucks internationally. So Starbucks has now put out an ad for India. Now, India, as you may know, is a pretty socially conservative country. When I say that the chief export of the United States is now wokeness, I mean it. It is now wokeness because it's embedded in all of our corporate product. Starbucks is present nearly every place on the globe, and they feel the necessity to lecture people of India about why boys can be girls and girls can be boys and parents need to be tolerant and accepting of their boy pretending that he's a girl. So here is an ad from Starbucks directed at the Indian market. By the way, this actually has not just ramifications for the domestic morality of the United States, of course. It also has ramifications for our foreign policy. You know what is one thing that people across the world are not interested in? The importation of this sort of crap. They're just not interested in it. I remember I was speaking, actually, this is an interesting conversation. I was speaking with a very high-ranking member of the Pakistani foreign policy establishment at one point. And, um, and this person and I were talking, and one of the things this person was saying is, Listen, we have some commonalities of interest with the United States. There are areas of crossover, but there's one thing we are not interested in whatsoever, and that is your social morality. We think that your social morality is garbage. We think that you are attempting to corrupt our children. We think that you are attempting to import your libertinism and gender confusion into our country. And so we don't want any part of that. So if your offer is blue jeans, but also transness, not interested. We'll make our own jeans. We'll import it from somewhere else. But that that is not just you know, members of the Pakistani foreign policy establishment, that's from pretty much everywhere. It turns out there's a very small slice of the human population, and it's a weird slice of the human population that is very into this stuff and now wishes to proselytize on its behalf. But if you wish to, it, it makes it harder for us to form alliances with countries based on commonality of interest. Because what they say is, if we let you in the, the front door, we're very concerned with what you are going to bring in with you. Again, the export in 1950s America, 1940s America, 1930s America, the export was we're going to bring American military power. We're going to establish your freedom and we are not going to threaten your baseline level of morality. Because you know what we still believe in? We still believe in like monogamous nuclear families, like the the things that are the most threatening, like rock and roll. That was like the big threat in the 1950s and 60s. We might bring rock and roll to your shores and that was going to corrupt the youth. Now, the big threat is we might come in and tell your son that he should cut off his penis. Well, that's that's a pretty big threat as it turns out. So it actually has ramifications for how we do foreign policy because who wants to ally with a country that says the condition of us allying with you, Saudi Arabia, the condition of us making an alliance with you, Hungary, the the, the condition of us forming a more solid relationship with you, India, is that you fly the pride progress flag and also pretend that your son is a daughter. Here's the Starbucks India India commercial. It says, calling Arpit. It's a, an older gentleman calling his son on his phone. And the mom is looking at him skeptically. And she says, listen, don't get angry this time, please. They're in a Starbucks. And he's, he's starting Thank to get you, upset. And here comes the, oh, look, Arpit's a girl. But Arpit isn't a girl. I know, a but Thanks for meeting me, Dad. Like I know it's been years. But you still mean the world to me. Oh, dad's going to give coffee. a warm hug to his coffee. Oh, they're going to get coffee together. And then mom is so accepting. Now dad's accepting all because of Starbucks' is coffee. Oh, a little burned coffee makes you... Your habits haven't changed, says the dad. Three cold coffees for Arpita. Three cold coffees for Arpita. And it's for Arpita, not Arpit. Arpita. And he ordered it because he's accepting her name, guys. Oh, so and the guitar is gonna for me, you are still my kid. Only a letter has got added to your name. He doesn't say that part where the d- got subtracted. 
Mm, oh, and singing. No, like Sarah McLaughlin, Indian style over here. It starts with Arpit, Arpita. Hashtag, it starts with your name. So Starbucks is now exporting the transness to India. Okay, so again, all of this relies, as I said before, on two things. Unity of corporate wokeness and your apathy. All right, again, another example. Unity of corporate wokeness. Adidas has now decided that the best way to sell female swimsuits is to put a dude in them. Yes, ladies. But I, I, I will never understand how women are not more insulted by this than men are. Men are insulted by this because we just think it's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. Men are not women. Women are not men. We all get it. Women are like, I, I, I will never understand how a woman is not insulted by a man wearing a woman's bathing suit and pretending to be female. I just, it, it will never cease to amaze me. We are a culture that says that, that cultural appropriation is in and of itself bad, right? You, you're not allowed to wear a, a garment that is another culture's garment. We're not allowed to do that, but you're allowed to literally appropriate another sex and everybody goes, oh, yeah. So here is Adidas, Adidas. Now, I have a question. How much of their market is this? How much of the Adidas market for bathing suits is men who want to wear one-piece swimsuits that show off the crotch bulge? How, how many? I'm going to go like, there are seven people. That's not a huge population. But again, they're relying on the idea that if they virtue signal to the left, the left will be super enthusiastic about Adidas. And they're relying on you not to stop shopping at Adidas. Because, hey, you got to buy a bathing suit somewhere. Here is the Adidas ad for a male in a female swimsuit. And it says, love unity on the swimsuit. And this is a man. And you can tell this is a man by all, literally all available evidence. Up to and including the obvious and clear biology of this person. The male shoulder physique, the crotch bulge, the whole thing. This is clearly a dude. And this is a dude wearing a lady swimsuit and then sashaying around. And Adidas is pushing that. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that people ought to remember. One, the corporate woke unity monolith is fake. It's not real. It's not real. They have this tenuous agreement that they will all go woke in order so that you will just give in and acquiesce. You, you'll have a feeling there's a tsunami that every place you go during June is going to be covered with pride progress flags and gay pride flags and trans the kids onesies and all the rest of it. And so you go, oh God, I can't even deal with this. Fine, I'll just buy whatever. Because listen, I got to go shopping. This is what they are counting on. But here's the thing. It's way weaker than it looks. Way weaker than it looks. And so the right has to make a point of picking a few targets. You can't do it to everybody. Picking a few targets and then destroying their stock. Picking a few targets and then actively not buying from those targets, making clear why you are not buying from those targets. You can't be everyone. And then people say, oh, why are you, why are you singling, singling out this company? Well, the answer is because we can't do all of them. So we will single out a few of them and we'll make examples of them. And we should make examples of them because when we make examples of them, the rest of you will learn not to insult your customer core and not to mimic the worst excesses of the LGBTQ plus minus divided by sign movement that insists on the proselytization of a peculiarly strange ideology claiming moral equivalence in all sexual activity and that boys can be girls and girls can be boys. All righty, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into the mailbag if you're not a member. Become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout. Get two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.